The figure below, not drawn to scale, shows a circle overlapping a larger semicircle. If the ratio of the shaded area to the unshaded area is 5 is to 8, find the ratio of the radius of the circle to the radius of the larger semicircle. So we know that the ratio of the shaded area to the unshaded area is 5 is to 8. So which means that this is 5 units, while the whole circle is 8 units. And since this is a semicircle, this will be actually 4 units and 4 units here. We can also name the small semicircle's radius as small r, while the larger semicircle we will have a big r to represent it. So, to find the area of this small semicircle, we just need to use so area of small semicircle is equivalent to half times pi small r squared. So I'll get half pi r squared. And to find the area of the big semicircle, it will be half times pi big R square and we will get half pi R square. Then you will realize that the area of the small semicircle is actually equivalent to 4 units. So we also know that 4 units, this is actually 4 units, is equivalent to half pi R square, the small r. So to find 1 unit, we need to use half pi r squared divided by 4, which is equal to half pi r squared times 1 quarter. Because this is 4 over 1, so when you do a times, we invert it. And I will get 1 over 8 pi r squared. Because number times number and alphabet times alphabet. So as we know that 1 unit is equal to 1 over 8 pi r squared, the area of the big semicircle is equivalent to 4 units plus 5 units, which is a total of 9 units. So we need to find 9 units is equivalent to 9 times 1 over 8 pi r squared, which gives us 9 over 8 pi r squared. And if we to look at the... So we know that this is actually equivalent to 9 over 8 pi r squared. So the next step that we can do is to actually equate half pi big R square is the same as 9 over 8 pi small r square. So the first thing we can do is to cancel off the pi, both because both has got pi. And we can also change this to over 8, which means that we have to do a times 4 here and times 4 here. So 4 over 8 r square is equal to 9 over 8 r squared. So the denominator is now the same. We will actually go on to the next step, which means that 4 big r squared is the same as 9 small r squared. Since we want to know the ratio of the radius of the circle, and this is a small semicircle, to the radius of the larger semicircle, we actually have to divide this over. So um, it means that r squared over big R squared is equal to 9 over, sorry, 4 over 9. So 4 over 9. Now, the other way that we can look at it is because 9 R squared is equal to 4 big R squared. So one small R squared is actually just 4 over 9 of the big R square. Now because this means R times R is equal to 4 over 9 times of R times R, I need to do a square root such that it will be a, pro a more equivalent ratio. So I square root everybody so it becomes R is equal to 2 over 3 of big R. Thus the ratio is actually 2 is to 3.